Oh, she wasn't was ever affectionate. No kisses or cuddles or all. So I remember her really. Don't even remember her leaving or all. I just know eventually she wasn't there. I never found out why she left either. I know she drank, she drank a lot. I mean, I'm, she fought out of back hell to keep us back and forth to the council office filling in forms, hours in the telephone box. But it worked. We went to live with her in the end. After her funeral, everyone went back to hers. All these people I was related to, but I'd never met. So strange. Here's the attention even then. I stayed in the hall, hiding. It's where all the pictures were. In frames on the dresser. I remember this one photo of me now with her dad. I think it was. She must have been similar age to me on it. I was 10 at the time. I stared at that photo for hours. But I wasn't thinking of her. I was thinking of me. You know, I, I didn't have any pictures like that. Of a mum or a dad. I thought about that picture for weeks. And I knew then. I was on my own. Social worker brought us back a few days later to get some things. I was supposed to fill this suitcase they'd given me with clothes and that. I don't know how, but I ended up in my nan's room, stealing her stuff. Cardigans, skirts, and some hand cream. I think it was the smell. I think it was comforting, does that sound weird? I started sleeping with her at first on the pillow. Went until later that I started to put them on. It was an escape. It's no one's fault. Maybe her uh, going was a trigger, maybe my nan dying was a trigger, but it's always been there in me. I guess I stole those clothes and opportunity presented itself and well here we are. When I'm dressed up I'm not poor but I'm not a woman either. I'm something different in between something completely my own, sitting here dressed like that, it, it makes things clearer. I can think about stuff as someone else. I can work it out in that head, that head that's not mine. I know it sounds crazy, but to me, oh, it makes perfect sense. It's the only version of myself I really understand.